What's up guys, Zeppi here. What the heck is this wizardry that Steyer has come up with? This answer to a question that nobody really had. The trapezoidal sights. So you see this question and this mentioned on every review that this gun has. Now, I don't think these sights have much of a adjustment period. It's more of a learning curve, in my opinion. And I have over a thousand rounds to this gun. I enjoy it thoroughly. I really like this gun. Um, and I honestly think pound for pound, it's it's gotta be the best, if not tied for the best polymer pistol on the market today. And there's tons of reasons why, but we're just gonna talk about these sights and something that I have not heard any other review really mention and really address is how to line these sights up and really what the quirks are to them. With these, my initial intuitive response to the sights may have been uh, skewed a little bit because I also have, uh, let's bring it in over here, I also have this gun right here. And it has, you could say, a similar sight system on it. And we'll show you that. These are the Advantage Tactical sights, and that's your sight picture like that. Uh, these are the Advantage Tactical. This is one of my everyday carries. Uh, I really like these sights, and that's why when I bought the Shire, I did not think really anything of it. Uh, I figured it would be kind of more of the same. Um, but they're actually a little bit different. And I'm going to show you that. These are the sights as they sit. Like that. And that's actually your sight picture like that. Um, so now I'm going to show you with a diagram on my computer. Green indicates where the slide is, where the bottom of the sight picture is, and where like the cutoff would be. So that would be right there. And then the black is obviously the sides. And then you have the large triangle at the end of the slide. My intuitive response was to put the triangle directly in line with the top. So that the tip of the triangle was matched with the tip of the uh, trapezoid. And then I thought that the bullet would hit there. That was my initial response, and what I actually ended up doing was I kept hitting three inches low. And I would have decent groups, I would just com consistently hit low. And so what I found was in reality what you had to do was this. You had to line up the bottom with the bottoms, and actually the tip would protrude a little bit from the top, and then your bullet would hit there. So you can see there's a pretty decent difference between these two uh, and, and what would be more of your intuition. I mean, this is just, I have one sample gun and it is the M9. It's not the S9, C9, or L9. I don't know if that would change uh, the dynamics of the sights or not, but this is how it works with my one sample size and all the rounds that I put through it is you actually have to cover up the uh, whatever you're trying to hit with the tip of the triangle and line the bottom up with the like the bottom of the front sight with the bottom of the back sights and like I said the front triangle is going to stick up like just a little bit over the two posts. Um, now the reason why I might have thought this and not this these are how the advantage tactical sights work. You complete the triangle and you make a pyramid and then the bullet will hit there. Uh, it'll hit right at the top, right in the middle. Um, I use these sights a lot, and like I said, that was my everyday carry gun. I trained with it a lot, the HK-45, and I can have very good groups, and I'm very accurate with these sights. Another huge thing about these sights versus these is these have no adjustment for windage or elevation. These are entirely adjustable for windage and elevation. You can shim the front and you can move the back uh, back and forth. So that's my general outline. If you're just getting a Shire pistol, if you have a Shire pistol and you are having trouble with the sights, 
Uh, this is what I found to work. Um, line the bottom up instead of the top and you will hit behind the tip of the triangle. Uh, so you are still going to obstruct your view whereas the Advantage Tactical Sights you don't obstruct, obstruct your view that actually hits above the point or like right on the tip. Anyway guys, I do think that triangle sights have their place in the tactical and defensive community. Um, Trijicon uses them in their ACOGs and their RMRs and uh, other companies have used them in the past. These two companies use them. Here's your sight picture one more time. Like that. And there's that one. So these are just two examples. These are my experience with the Steyr sights and uh, trying to make it a little easier so you guys don't have a learning curve like I did. Uh, that's how you line them up, at least on my pistol. Try them on yours. Let me know if it works out for you guys.